welcome to this quick tutorial on how to create and customize your own t-shirt for the IMView shop. Here we're going to go over how to create a texture, how to apply it to a product, and then how to upload it to your catalog. Let's get started with our textures. First, you're going to want to visit the page of the product in the tutorial, the Bella crop top, and download the textures. You're going to find them right here where you can click and open each texture, one, two, and three, and save them to your computer. Once you've saved them, open the file location and we're going to bring them into a photo editing software such as Photoshop or GIMP. For anyone that might be new to creating, GIMP is a free alternate software to Photoshop and has very similar capabilities. We're going to take a look at both programs so that you can learn in either style. Let's get started with Photoshop. First, you're going to want to open all three textures in Photoshop. You can do this by going to the file location and just opening them directly or clicking and dragging into the program. The first thing we're going to do is quickly evaluate our tools. First, we have our canvas, which has our base texture on it. We have all of our tools to the side and our ability to create new layers and adjust them over here on the right. The first thing we're going to do is create a new layer and we are going to then use the paint bucket tool to drop our color on top. This color is going to be IMView purple, which is 75479F, but you can use the color picker of your choice or dropping in any hexadecimal code to pick the color you'd like to use. We're going to stay consistent, however, throughout the tutorial so that our product textures are all the same. So once we have our purple on the board, we are going to then change it so that we can see the texture underneath. And we can do that by changing the property from normal to color. And now you can see the final texture taking shape. Let's apply this to each of our textures. As you can see here, it's already done. And then saving them to the same location, which we can also see is already done. Let's move on to GIMP. The first thing we're gonna do is open all three files again in GIMP. From here, we're gonna do very similar steps as the last. We're going to create a new layer down here in the bottom corner. And here you can see the properties that it allows you to do, but we don't need to customize anything. and can just click OK. And then we're going to use our paint bucket and our color tool to choose our HTML color of 75479F, which is the IMV purple, and we're going to hit OK. From here, we're going to fill the color just like we did in Photoshop. And then from here, to let our color see through, we're going to change the mode to HSL color. That's the only difference between Photoshop and GIMP. And from here, you can see we have the exact same texture style as we did in the other program. So you can go ahead and apply those and then use the export feature to save the texture in the file location. After that, you're all set. We have all three textures that are ready to apply it to our product. To begin creating, we're gonna go back to the client and go to the Create tab. Here you can see the ability to derive a new product, which we're going to choose. To find the ID, we're going to go back to the Bella Crop Top page and we are going to take the ID from either the URL at the top, which you can see here, or it's the big red product ID down here. Either one will work, or you can also click Derive from Product to have it open directly for you in the client. Move back to the client and paste the ID and allow it to load. When it's loaded, click Go. Here we can see the product has been loaded on the default IMView avatar. You're allowed to change this anytime to test it with different various products. I'm going to change it to a new outfit now so I can get a better look at how she looks. Here we can see what this top looks like on a current more normal avatar. And we're ready to start applying our changes. So over here in the material panel you can see the various pieces that make up this product. We can see our front, our back, and our sleeves, our materials 01, 02 and 03. To change these, click it and choose the edit icon and find the file in the new location you saved it as. We're going to choose our purple front and then our purple back and then our purple sleeves, all that we've created in Photoshop and GIMP. And once I'm ready, I'm going to hit apply changes. And you can see that our shirt has changed to our new purple hue. From here, you're all set. You can make more changes and apply the new textures as you'd like, and if you're all set, you can hit save, and then you can go through the upload process to put this into your catalog. All you have to do is name it, add a product icon, 
choose the correct rating, add your profit, and then any keywords, and then choose Submit to Shop. Thank you for watching!